Headings are an important part of any website. We add them using the H1 element right through to H6. They can be used to display text headings of different sizes and importance. H1 being the most important and also the largest and H6 being the least and also the smallest. Let's take a look at how we can use them in our HTML. So currently we have three different lines of text using the standard P tags. So let's change the first line to H1. So let's replace the opening and closing tag to be H1. Then the second line we can change this to be H2. And the third, let's change this to be H6, which is the least important and also the smallest. Give that a save and then go over to the browser and hit refresh. So we can clearly see in order that the first one of H1 is the most important and largest. The second one is slightly smaller because this is a H2, which we added just here. Then right at the bottom, a H6 is the smallest. And you can barely see that on the screen, it is pretty small. So let's just change this to be a H3. And then we can reload the browser. And now it's a little bit bigger. People often mistakenly use headings just to size the text on a web page. This is generally discouraged as search engines will use these elements to decide which parts of a site are the most important. If you want to resize any text, this should be done by using CSS. You will often see a H1 element being used for things such as a site title or other important information about your website. H2 could also be used for major section titles, H3 for blog post titles and so on. Of course, these are just general examples and their use will vary with each project.